Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Law Offices of Mark Martinez. Today we're going to talk about service of process in the context of unlawful detainer. And so this is the part where the lawsuit really commences. So you get your notice to quit. Once the notice to quit expires, now the landlord is allowed to sue you and will have to serve you, uh, execute service of process on all of the tenants in the property. How is this done? Typically, the easiest way that it's done is how you see in the movies where uh, an individual, a professional process server, actually serves you with the lawsuit, the summons and the complaint. And from that day forward, you have five days, excluding holidays and weekends, to, uh, to reply and file what's called a responsive pleading, which can be an, either an answer, a demur, or a motion to quash, or some other type of response. Um, now, in the unlawful detainer, what uh, sometimes may happen is the landlord has the um, option as well, if they've attempted to serve a tenant and have been unsuccessful trying uh, three different times during different periods of the day and have applied with the court, they can do what's called post and mail. And post and mail is where they apply to the court and they say that, look, I just can't find this tenant. Um, and then the court allows them to post the summons and the complaint on the door and then mail out a copy of the summons and the complaint to the residents. Now, this type of service is effective on the 10th day from the date of mailing. So for example, if it's November 1st, and uh, the landlord posts the notice, the summons and the complaint on the door and mails it on that same day, November 1st, then the service will be effective on November 10th, 2020. Now, when the service is effective, then the responder will get an additional five days to uh, respond, including holidays, excuse me, excluding holidays and weekends. So um, in, actual, in actual practice, you would receive 15 days to file your responsive pleading. And a responsive pleading could include a answer, a demur, or some other type of first appearance in court. I hope this has been helpful and best of luck.